Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Students, in our previous lesson, we've discussed different types of stores. These include department store, discount store, catalog and warehouse showrooms, convenience stores, supermarkets, super stores, warehouse clubs, and specialty stores. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss the marketing promotion. First, let us see what a marketing mix is. Marketing mix is the techniques and strategies of marketing to be used by the firm in order to achieve the objectives of earning profit through the customer satisfaction. The marketing mix consists of products, price, place, and promotion. Product mix creates the solution of customer need and wants. It includes goods, materials, services, and ideas. Price mix determines what a customer paid. When taking decision, this price should be considered to return the investment of the firm and the customer services. Place mix includes distribution channel and physical distribution of products. Promotional mix, the elements of promotional mix are advertising, personal selling, public relation or publicity, and sales promotion. Students, in this session, we're going to focus on promotional mix and its elements. Promotional mix of marketing is concerned with communication mechanism. It includes the transmission of information from seller to buyer. Promotion is the effort of creating demand for products by providing adequate information about quality, nature, and price of products to potential customer. Good promotion requires the following elements. These are to understand your customers, age, gender, income level, etc to identify business that target similar customers and to find benefits for everyone involved. Students, we've seen the different elements of a good promotion, but what are the advantages of promotional mix? Promotional mix would help us stimulate a customer to take action towards buying decision inform public about products differentiation, increase demand purchase, and maintain sales stabilizing. Students, now let's discuss the elements of promotional mix. There are four main aspects of a promotional mix. These are advertising, personal selling, publicity, 
sales promotion. Students, let's see the first promotional mix element, that is advertising. Advertising is the transmission of information to prospective customers by media such as radio, television, newspapers, and magazines. The main advantages of advertising include to assist salespersons in order to make sales easy, to inform about new products, it is aimed to let the customer know about the utility, quality, features, benefits, and price of the new products. To create new demand. To create and maintain image and goodwill. To reduce cost. To remind and reinforce customers. To encourage customers to buy the products. There are some disadvantages of advertising. These are the cost of advertisement is very high, it rarely provides quick feedback, it is less persuasive than personal selling, and the audience does not have to pay attention. Students, let us see different types of advertisements. We have five different types of advertisements. These are press or printed material, visual media, audio media, audiovisual media, and electronics media. Students, now let's see one by one. The first one is press or print material. Press advertising describes advertising in a printed medium, such as a newspaper, magazine, brochure, or poster. The second type of advertisement is visual media. Visual media is a presentation of message of advertisement that can easily be seen by your eyes. Students, look at the following visual media examples. These are billboard, paint, poster, banner, electronic symbol, trade fair, exhibition, retail shop, etc. The third type of advertisement is audio media. Audio media is the form of advertisement which helps to communicate in a way that people can hear a message in audio. This form of advertisement is helpful to transfer a message by radio, tape recorder, telephone, etc. The next type of advertisement is audiovisual advertisement. Audiovisual media presentation and explanation of the products can be done at the same time. You can see and hear simultaneously. The last part of advertisement is electronic media. Electronic media is an advertisement through internet, web, and email. It is the quickest form of advertisement. Nowadays, direct selling has become possible through telephone and computer. Students, now it is time to do an activity. Please form groups of four and get ready for the exercise. What are the different types of advertisements?
Students, did you get the answer? Good. Let's do it together. The different types of advertisement include press or printed material, audio media, visual media, audio visual media. Students, so far we have seen the first type of promotional mix that is advertising. The second element of promotional mix is personal selling. Personal selling is selling a product or service face-to-face -face or over the phone to customers. Personal selling has the following advantages. 1. Dynamic role. The salespersons meet directly with prospective customer and, if necessary, change presentation according to customer needs, wants, interest, attitude, etc. 2. Focus on prospective customers. A seller identifies and directly communicates a customer to sell goods and services. 3. Actual sales. These are techniques helpful of demand creation that foster sales become possible and better. 4. Channel of communication. Seller plays two-way roles in communication. First, to get information about quality, utility, price, etc. And the other is to identify customer needs, wants, interest, and change of fashion, etc. 5. Social relations. This helps us to develop and continue existence of customers. Look, students, this is an example of personal selling. Students, the other element of promotional mix is publicity. Publicity is a method of public relation through which information and message about the product and the company are communicated. Publicity has the following advantages. 1. Credibility. The information and message about goods and services communicated by independent source becomes more credible. 2. Greater readership. Communicated mostly through important newspaper with greater numbers of readers. 3. Contains more information. Communicated by special features article. 4. Cost benefit. Comparatively from other promotion publicity, much economical method. 5. Speed. Students, here is an example of publicity. Watch attentively. Students, the last type of promotional mix is sales promotion. Sales promotion is the short-term techniques of promotional mix that is commonly used to obtain increased sales in short term. Objectives of sales promotion are to introduce new products, to identify and attract new customers, to encourage more purchase among current customers, to combat to offset competitors' marketing efforts, and to increase brand awareness. Students, now it is time for an individual activity. Get ready for the exercise. What do you think are the importance of promotional mix for any company?
Students, did you get the answer? Good. The importance of promotional mix includes stimulating a customer to take action towards buying decision, informing the public about product's differentiation, increasing demand, increasing product value, and stabilizing sales. Students, today we've discussed the marketing promotional mix and its elements. The elements of promotional mix are advertising, personal selling, publicity, and sales promotion. In our next session, we will discuss the meaning of communication and business communication. Students, that's all for today. Until next time, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students. Goodbye.